everybody, um, Rob here. Uh, in the last video, uh, I asked you all to let me know what you want to see more or less of in my videos, and thank you so much. I've had a load of emails, comments on the YouTube, all sorts of things telling me exactly what you'd like to see more or less of. Um, so this video is going to answer one of those, and it's all going to be about um, the round trip between DaVinci Resolve and Fusion using, using um, Fusion Connect. So we'll jump straight in and we'll just do a, a pretend little project. Um, I'll just get some footage in and we'll do a little bit of grading, send it to Fusion and we'll show you how that works. And it's all very, very quick and simple. Um, but for anybody that wants to use the two uh, in conjunction, this is how you do it. So let's go straight into Resolve. Okay, so we're gonna treat this drone footage that I shot as a kind of a period drama or something, which I wanna add a title to. Now. Let's first of all just go in to the color page and we'll just tinker with this just slightly. I'm gonna warm up the high, so I'm just gonna move the gain over a little bit to warm that up and probably the same with the gamma just to touch. Uh, and I will probably pull the lift back down to the blue just to add a little bit of blue to those shadows, cool them off slightly. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not even gonna do it properly. This is not what this video is about. So let's go back to the edit page. Um, I don't like the speed of this. If I just play this through, uh, apart from this tree, which is close enough to make it look like it's moving, I'm not happy. So let's just right click, go to change clip speed. And I'm just gonna say 200%, hit return. That's a bit better. Uh, although the high speed period drama cars that are flying up and down this road, are perhaps you can see this one here. Um, I think we need some alien spaceship composited in here to blow that up because it's out of time. Anyway. I digress. So the purpose of Fusion Connect is if you're using Resolve as your main editing package, which you can do perfectly well now, um, you might want to add some titles, you might want to do something, uh, and then you might want to come back with that finished clip to Resolve to then continue your editing work. Um, for a title, you can open up your effects library. Uh, if you're in the edit room, that's up here, top left, and you could add some text. So we could drag that in and we could say, uh, let's just highlight that and we could say this is called period drama and uh, let's just make sure our playheads over that let's change the font here to uh, what's a good one that's snell roundhand is a nice period drama one let's just increase the size and I'm going to change the line spacing so that this stroke of the D interacts with the E up there I think that might look quite nice um, so let's reduce that, bring that down to there. Okay, that's fine. Now, once you've got to this point, okay, this looks fine and dandy, that's great, but there's not a huge amount you can do. You can't even animate that much. Um, so although you can do things like position and you could zoom to do this, you can animate these because they have the diamonds next to them. Um, uh, the same as the drop shadow, the stroke, and the background have a few sections. You can't do the tracking, size, line spacing. You can't even change the font very easily um, like this, which is okay, because if you're doing just a, a simple title like this, you can do it, and there's a scrolling setting as well, um, which, is, which is great. Uh, but it doesn't let you utilize any of the power that you have inside Fusion, which you might want to do. So as I mentioned earlier about having a spaceship, if you wanted to have a great big 3D tracking uh, done and a spaceship coming down here, blowing up the stately home and... Uh, you know, okay, Jane Austen's running up the hill on fire, then that'd be great, but we need a way of doing that. So let's kill off these titles here. Let's click on this project. And uh, first of all, I'm just gonna save this one actually. Let's just call this uh, PD uh, for period drama. Just save that. Uh, yeah, okay, don't worry about that. That's my fault. Okay, let's right click and come up to new Fusion Connect clip. And what this is gonna do is bring up this dialogue and I'm gonna call this clip pd underscore titles and i'll give it a version number number one now fusion connect looks after all the logistics of the rendering and everything and all those files really really well for you so i would suggest other than the the format and codec let fusion let resolve and fusion do everything for you uh, except make sure that this box is checked so that it will open for you so this will render out that footage with the color correction that we've done and it will open fusion for us and what we'll find is once Fusion opens, there'll be a new flow with two nodes. And um, one will be our start point, which is what's just been sent from Resolve. 
and one is a saver node um, here which is what will go back to resolve so let's just we'll make this go blue let's just right click add a tool and let's go to generator uh, creators and text plus you can see because we were hovering over this pipe and making it blue a merge has been attached um, if you want to quickly add something between two nodes just hold shift and drag that node uh, until the the pipe turns blue let go and it will be connected in between you don't need to kind of disconnect things and then reconnect them back up again um, which is much much easier so what do we have here let's just make sure that we have our text tool selected we'll come in here and let's just say period drama and you can see that text is already in our in our right hand viewer there um, what was the font we used so snell round hand and we could change the size we can go to layout and change things we can do all the sort of things that we would normally want to do with our text now i'm really not going to worry too much about doing anything fancy in here um, this is much more about the the round trip i could go to shading maybe and we could change this to a, a gradient so that this is maybe a kind of peachy color um, and then the highlight at the end here could be let's pick something from our image let's go for something a little bit warmer like so and then we have a very basic thing done there now it doesn't look great but you know that's fine uh, right so as i said this is not about making a good looking project because obviously i haven't done that and that's not what this is all about i am going to save this and if we now just go back to resolve we should see we have this pd titles 001 uh, it's not showing here so what we can do is right click and just go to fusion connect refresh so i realized at this point that i'd forgotten to press render in fusion so do make sure you press render uh, you'll see that again in a minute uh, but i realized as i was editing this that that's what i missed out um, so you do need to save your project and then render from the um, the saver node and you'll be good to go so our period drama has appeared now okay this is great this is all good and well um and obviously we would have in F that fusion project all the abilities that fusion gives us to create all sorts of wondrous things um but you know what it's like you're working on a project and your client comes back to you and says you know what i want this to just be a little bit more kind of a, di a, di a different take on things and i don't want jane austen to be fighting any zombies here um but i think there should be just something a bit more hip and cool and they're mixing the times up again so you kind of cry into your beer quietly but then you go oh, hang on a second right click fusion connect and let's go create a new version so this is again rendering out this has opened up our scene for us again here let's go to our text and let's just say we want to use a different font let's go for that sign painter font and let's go to the shading and let's say we'll use uh, a solid here and we'll go for a hot pink which is one of my favorites for this kind of thing wow that looks hideous and wonderful all at the same time and okay that's great so just save that hit the render button uh start okay and if we now hop back to resolve just wait a second and we will find that that now new hot pink version is going to appear here sometimes you have to click refresh um, let's just go fusion connect refresh and here we have our period drama um, fusions are saying yeah okay get on with it thanks very much right so we all know what clients are like and you've done this new version and firstly they go wow that's amazing thank you so much have a pay rise and then they go oh, hang on a minute no i've just talked to somebody else and the coffee boy doesn't like it he doesn't think it's cool enough um, or can we go back to the previous version and you go oh my god that's uh, three hours of my time i'm never going to get back uh, except you can just right click in here go fusion connect and you can go oh hang on select version i've still got my old version in here and you say i'll still take the pay rise but here's the new one and uh, off you go now obviously this has made it all look uh, just kind of 
slick and easy and simple and you could have rendered out things yourself in not much more time but the fact that this creates the versions for you you don't have to worry about all of the logistics and file management it's all taken care of actually means this is incredibly powerful especially when you start delving into fusion to actually do something good uh, rather than this disgusting thing that i've done here um, but i wanted to show you kind of how that process works uh, what it's good for and how to implement it into your projects so you could have uh, god knows how many different versions of this title however many fonts you've got installed on your system apart from Comic Sans and Papyrus, because I think that would set fire to your iMac. Um, so that's a, a quick look at how you can do a round trip from Fusion and Resolve using Fusion and Connect. If there's anything you think I should have done differently, and we're not talking about the project here, I realize this is horrendous, um, then let me know. If you want me to speed up or slow down or cover more or talk about uh, more entire projects and things like that, then leave a comment, let me know. And uh, thanks very much. I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.